the numbers going on the side? Look on that side, maybe? Yeah. All right. Hello, everybody. Brad Allen and the Ange is my camera woman today. Um, today's, uh, what is today? February 5th. And it's probably about 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. We just got off of work and came home. And at the door was waiting a package that I've been keeping my eye out. Um, this is from a good friend of mine, Paul, a.k.a. 51 Foxy. Probably the majority of uh, my subscribers and friends know who I'm talking about. But a while back, he had um, told me that he was going to be sending me a gift. And to keep my eyes out. And it's here. And... I've marked out a, all the information stuff, but I see here at the bottom it says fragile on it and it says open this end up and he also told me in a message he also told me in a message that the note for it was enclosed on the outside so I'm going to keep this thing pointed up like it says and cut this letter off of here real quick and see what the note says says hi Brad and Angie just a few items that I thought you would like sorry for the delay in shipping item I'm not worried about that buddy I told you I wasn't worried about that at all but we do appreciate you sending this and I don't even know what's in this thing yet all the best to you both from 51 Foxy Bobby and Frankie <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right let's get into this open this thing up here at the top. You don't necessarily have to record me all the way over there. Oh. <laughs> Just as long as I'm in frame general and okay. all that good stuff. All right, let's be easy open this. We and don't... just so you know, this duct tape is not legal in the United States when sending a package. <laughs> no, they give us gruff. We have to buy the United Special. <laughs> United States of America postage <laughs> tape. And it's like $27 a roll. <laughs> no, it's not. No, not really. <laughs> All right. Here's the top Mm, I'll still be easy with it. You sure loaded this up good, bud. Alright, let's see here. Chopping into this thing with the Condor Bush Lore. Mm, it is doing a fine job at it. There we go. Alright, let's see what's in this thing. And you can just kind of pan back. You don't have to shoot it down. Well, I mean, I was like, <laughs> there we go. I know you're being camera woman. You're doing great. Baby. I don't like doing this. All right. Let's see. We got some packing stuffing in here. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I see something awesome here. Wow. Holy cow, man. You sent me a fishing reel, brother. <laughs> there we go. Look at this thing. That is sweet. It's a Browning SSFM 30M. Laced up nicely. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness, Paul. I can't I can't even express how awesome this is, man. I got a rod to put this on and everything. That is amazing. Oh man, and this is a this thing is nice. That's like Beautiful. super solid and smooth running. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna see me catch some fish this year on this thing for sure, bub. Oh man, thank you so much, Paul. This right here alone is just freaking me out, man. I'm gonna be doing some super duper fishing with this thing. Alright, God, I just want to hang on to this. This is my new <laughs> precious. 
it's good too because the last re open face that I had like this um, in my last whitewater um, state park video that I had posted um, I had neglected one of my fishing poles and left that thing behind propped up next to a log I had it cast it out for catfish and I got locked in to fly fishing off to the edge and one thing led to another and I left that bad boy behind and obviously it wasn't there when I went back it was someone else's new awesome fishing pole but this will replace that finally oh man I can't I, I can't thank you enough Paul this is this is super special to me man I, that fishing is something that I hold dear to my heart is which you guys probably already know let me set this down there that's awesome. And see what I see more fishing stuff in here. Oh, check it out. We got some fly fishing and stuff in here. Um, let's see if we can get some of this in the video. Um, it looks like we have a little bit, if I'm not mistaken, this is some tippet material here. Oh man. And you can't have enough of these here. These are the retrieval spindles um, for um, little pliers and your snips and things of that nature to clip to your vest. And that'll go right on my pack, man. I appreciate this, Paul, man. These things right here are definitely things that I'm going to be able to use, brother, for sure. All sorts of different flies. My goodness, there's so many. That's so awesome. Yeah, you know I'm going to use these. I see all sorts of things. Little minnows and... Oh, man. There's all kinds of awesomeness in here. I'm going to have to do try to get some stills of all these flies and some of this stuff individual when I get to the end of this video um, to show you the, the flies that are in here. These are definitely something that I'm going to be able to use for sure. Um... Yeah, I'm going to make sure that we all can see that stuff. Paul, this box is getting big, brother. <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of things packed in here. Um, let me keep looking down in here. That's I see beautiful. a wooden spoon. And if I'm not mistaken, this is probably something that I assume you've carved. If not, tell me otherwise. But if it was, Paul, this thing is amazing. I want that one, Paul. <laughs> the Angie's claiming this one for her back. I think she's going to want to get that in is a, awesome. her mountain houses with this. We'll have to talk about that, babe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll just have to talk. But That is pretty awesome. Super awesome. That thing is awesome. Yeah. Wow. This I, I don't even lot. know what to say. This, this, this box so far has been getting so awesome that I don't even know what to say um, there, there's still more in here there's so much stuff in here there's more packing foam and this stuff might turn into some flies that you see Angie will probably hate it that it'll wind up in my probably. messy man cave but I might have to utilize some of this foam and make some uh, 51 foxy flies make some little spiders or something here's that let me set that, that chair down there um my lord there's all kinds of stuff in here this is for angie so i know you said that you didn't want to be on the video babe but um i've been in charge of opening packages till now Aww. this has got your name on it so let me switch over and grab the camera and you come over into the man cave your jammies and Angie in her, in her cookie monster jammies. Thank you so much for this. Oh, she's sad because she was in her jammies. Don't let her fool y'all. She's a <laughs> she always she always gets caught in her jammies. <laughs> we thank you so much, Paul. This is awesome. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you got you some delicious chocolates. You are so awesome! Thank you so much for this. What are they, what are they called? Let's see. Are they something different than what we? I'm gonna here? have to hide these both from Brad. <laughs> if I don't, they will be gone by tomorrow. So <laughs> thank you so much for both of these. You were so sweet. What kind of candies did you get? Uh, what are they called? Got my caramels. Got some caramel chocolates. And then we got the Hershey candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> 
for this. That Thank is you. totally awesome, man, so Paul. Sweet. You're a true gentleman, my friend. All right, I'm back on the camera. <laughs> All right, there's that. They're gonna be. Everybody's gonna be making fun of my man cave. It's so unorganized it's okay. and unruly. All right, let's see. There's something else down in here, and this is all wrapped up. Well, looky there. I have a new camping oh, cup Oh, is that there. not so cool? And it's got all kinds of cool fish on it. Got the carp and the sprat and the rainbow trout. Oh, it would be a blessing if I could ever get to water with these. I'd need to get out of Indianapolis and travel to do some fishing. Perch, skipjack tunas, haddock, cod, and pollock fish. This is going to be the new teacup around camp, brother. You're going to see this thing shine sometime. I'll clip that right on the back. I appreciate that so much, man. I appreciate this. This is like Christmas. This pack is, this it really box is. is stuffed full of all sorts of stuff. You totally didn't have to do this. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome surprise from being at work all week and knowing that something was coming and I had no idea that you were going to pack this much stuff, bud. <laughs> this is just awesome. Let me get these scissors for Angie. It looks like this is all that she had out. Let me cut this out because... That's taped up pretty good. Everything's wrapped up real nice. Mm -hmm. This, let's see here, this thing. What do we got in here? Got some styrofoam. It's that matching fork from that spoon. I get them both. <laughs> what is this? It's still packed up good, Paul. You, you made sure this stuff didn't rattle around at all, brother. Here, boom, here. Oh, man. Can I get a picture of that? Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, here, let me not drop this down. Paul, this is wonderful, brother. This is a certificate of authenticity. Holy cat, the certificate of authenticity. This fly fishing and is an original collector's plate from Gone Fishing by Graham Twyford. 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 Hand numbered. Oh my goodness, Paul. This is oh, this is something that's I've never had anything this nice like this before. Um that is beautiful, brother. This is an amazing plate that's I don't know if that's painted on there, if this is just like that a is beautiful. run of stuff, but it's got a gentleman there fishing. Wow, I'm going to have to um, make some sort of um, plate plaque or something for this to where I can hang it up in the man cave. I'll buy you does one the video look? Does the video look like it's getting this in? I really want to make sure that everyone can see how beautiful this is. Maybe if I turn it out of the light that way, baby. There's there we go. Way. How about that? Can you go forward now? Oh, wow. Look at this plate, you guys. That's oh, beautiful. man. I'm at a loss for words on this because I, I, I'm definitely a lover of art in all sorts of ways, Paul. Um, I love looking at pictures. I love everything fishing. You know that. And th this, brother, this is, you've, you've totally outdid yourself. Th this is true to my heart, man. Thank you very much. Um, th this here, I don't even know what to say about it other than this is going to be in addition to hanging in our home. Um, and somehow, you know, I'll make sure that the mount holds this with it and we save the original box for it you know this isn't something i'm going to just keep in this box so i hope it's not supposed to stay in there i'm going to display this uh i really don't know what to say everyone you know 51 foxy's great wonderful guy they do the camp baza trips and recently he started with um, doing his treasure adventures with the metal detecting, which is super awesome. Me and Angie's always got our fingers crossed that you get the big hunk of gold or a UFO. Something, that you would know. Be awesome. <laughs> you got us good when you said that you found the uh, the Spartan or whatever, the man with the uh, sword still attached to his hand. We, yeah. we, you had us going. But 
everybody, you know, go and check out Paul. I'm going to put his information in the description box. Like I said, most of you probably um, know who he is already, but I'm going to put you in there. Um, I'm going to try to get some pictures of all this stuff. That way I can try to do it all justice. You know, I'm a bubbling wreck and all excited, and I'm probably talking and waffling a whole bunch over this, but it's very special to me, you know, when things like this come, and you you totally woed me with all this stuff, friend. Uh, it, it's amazing. Me and Angie are definitely going to take turns with the spoon. I don't it's know, mine. She, she might not see this it's again. It's all mine. Paul's going to have to tell me to give this to you. Before, Paul, tell him to give it to if, me. If he says you can have it, you can have I'll it. I'll give but. you two quarters of my candy bar. <laughs> two quarters of a candy bar is not a fair trade. But... All right, you guys, thank you so much. I hope this was a good unboxing. I hope everything, you know, you don't think I'm a big meanie for telling her how to be a camera woman and stuff. But Sorry, it's my first time, guys. <laughs> you are an excellent camera thank woman, you. baby. But, Paul, brother, thank you very much, man. It, You know, you're a great friend, and I'm not just saying that because you sent me a, a, a plethora of wonderful gifts here. I'm, You know, by no means am I saying that. You know, you always, you know, respond when I send you a message, but you always comment on my videos. That means the world. So, thank you very much, and see y'all later.